Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a TJ Maxx and Marshalls shop with me and show you guys all the new makeup that they have. We did find quite a few new items that I haven't seen yet and we have some really amazing restocks that I haven't seen for a bit. So I did want to go over all of that so we have a little bit of a longer video and I do have a haul for you guys at the end of what I picked up. If you are new here and you enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out um, on these amazing finds because the makeup at TJ Maxx and Marshalls is so so cheap amazing prices so I wanted to go ahead and share with you what I found let's go ahead and get to shopping starting off the week we found a ton of new pixie or some restocks as well this is the pixie Aspen Ovard collection one of their blushes in Rome Rose for $3.99. This is a really good find. It's a great formula. It's collection's a little bit older. I know they don't sell anymore, but it's a great, great blush. I love this one. This is a restock next, the Pixie and Whaley collection. This is a little eye palette and an eyeliner. It's called the Eye Creator Kit. They did this clap a couple years back, and um, we're seeing this in stores again with all the Pixie stuff. This is going for $6.99, which is amazing. I was so excited to find this liquid lip. It's one of the Pixi Matte Last Liquid Lips in this pink shade. And we have not seen any of these yet. I only saw this shade so far. This is in Prettiest Pink. This formula is so good. I own quite a few of them and they're very comfortable on the lips and give a great color payoff. So I would definitely recommend these and I hope we see more of the collection. We also found this new find. This is the Pixie and Chloe Morello Lip Icing, which is a lip gloss from them. This is in the shade Cake, and it's just a very sparkly lip gloss. This is going for $3.99 as well. Most of the Pixie stuff, the smaller stuff is $3.99. And then they also had these little gel tints. The gel tint and silk glosses so there's a tint on one side and then side and then a gloss to go on top um, we have seen these before but I wanted to show them again because they had quite a few of them they also restocked the eye reflection palette this one's going for $9.99 and this one's mostly a shimmer palette I, th I don't think it has any mattes in it I could be wrong and then they also have this pixie it's Judy time lip palette so you could use a little lip brush to use the shades in here this one was $6.99 so that one was pretty cheap I will say they also had this liquid eyeliner the cat eye ink from pixie in this black shade this was also $3.99 I did find quite a few new drugstore finds this week. This is from Milani, the Contour and Highlight. This is for $3.49. I believe this is a cream formula, like in the stick form. They also had some of their uh, matte lip creams. This, these are going for $2.99. I saw a couple shades in the line there. This one is in Emotion. And they also had the shade Flame in these. They also had their lipsticks. I really do like these. This is the color statement lipstick in the shade Sweet Nectar. I actually wore this on my honeymoon, fun fact, and I absolutely love it. It's such a bright orange red. They also had the shade Empress, so we are seeing a lot of kind of orangey tone reds today. Not a lot of neutral shades. And then they have this more darker red as well. Next, I was so excited to see this product again. They had the little mini Glam Glow Glow Setter, which is a setting mist from them. This is a pretty cool find. It's $7.99, so I thought it was a little bit pricey for a mini size since it's definitely not the full size, but still cool to see this there. And then they also had these again, the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighters. This is in Rose Shock. This really pretty pink for $4.99, such a good price, and these are very intense highlighters. They also had the shade Gravitron, which I believe, yeah, it's more of a yellow gold. I've seen these in the past before, but they are hard to come by. And then this is a new find. They had a tattoo liner duo from Kat Von D. This I have not seen in the stores yet, but it comes with two different eyeliners from them, including their tattoo liner. I think these are little minis, like half of the full size. This was for $4.99, which is very affordable. I think definitely worth it. So yeah, you get the tattoo liner and then the dagger tattoo liner, which is a little bit more angled. 
And these are pretty popular at the stores from Too Faced, the Tutti Fruity Glitters. They had a bunch of the Sweet Spot shade in. These are $5.99, and they just restocked this shade, so I wanted to show that. They also had Candied Rose as well, so I figured I would show those because they go pretty fast. They're really pretty glitters. And then the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks, they had a new shade in Ashes. We may have seen this one before, but I really don't recall this color. This was $7.99, and they got quite a bit of just this one shade, so I'm pretty sure it is newer it looks like a cool toned kind of grayish pink and then I wanted to show this the Kevin Aquan glass glow lip they had a different shade in this one this is just a clear gloss it's for $5.99 we saw the spectrum bronze shade in the past but I wanted to show you guys that they do have a clear one um, called crystal clear and it's a very good price and that one's the spectrum bronze there they had this Ardell Wispies mascara I wanted to show they had literally so many of them so I figured I would put it on here <laughs> this is for $3.99 I do remember seeing these but they just brought a ton of them in you guys will have to let me know if it is any good and then they had quite a few of the smudge sticks from Stila this is the deep burgundy shade these are amazing eyeliners that really last all day on the eyes they're only $3.99 I would definitely recommend picking them up I absolutely love them so they had some fun colors this is bluefin which is more of a navy in the smudge stick formula then they also have this again the Smashbox pearl palette $9.99 for this this is a little highlighter trio it's the same one that was in collaboration with Casey Holmes amazing quality on this one and they also had the Bobbi Brown mini highlighting powder in pink glow another beautiful product since this one is a mini I haven't really seen that one at the stores it's $14.99 we found a full size like maybe a year ago which I bought there but this is a gorgeous highlighter as well I will recommend it I'm going to be seeing some more L'Oreal in this video. We have the Lamat Lip Color Pens. These are for $2.99. I saw quite a bit of L'Oreal. They had a couple different shades in this one. This one is the Game Set and Matte shade. More pink and then they're more red tone. And then my jackpot find of the week is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. They just put them out this weekend. They had a few of them at my store. And I'm so excited to see this there. I don't think we've seen the original chocolate bar there for $19.99. I thought that was a really great price and like I said I'm pretty sure we have not seen this at the stores yet but some of their other ones we have and then we have this BH Cosmetics Royal Affair five piece liquid lipstick set these look like little minis this was only $7.99 plus you get the cute sequin bag the colors look really nice it looks like some neutrals pretty much everything you need so I thought that was a cute set moving on to skincare we found Paula's Choice I love seeing it there at the stores this was a moisturizing mask from them this was going for $9.99 very affordable I love Paula's Choice it's called the rehydrating moisture mask and then I saw a ton of Hello Kitty nail polish from OPI they had this adorable set with the Hello Kitty pouch and three polishes for $11.99 we've saw some of them in the past but I have not seen this set yet but um this is the other set I saw for $11.99. We have seen this one before, but it comes with a few shades. And they also had this little mini set as well with two shades for $6.99. So lots of OPI Hello Kitty stuff popping up in stores. And a lot of them contain red colors and whites, which would be awesome for 4th of July, just saying. <laughs> and then they had a Bare Minerals Claymates Mask Duo. It says Be Pure and Be Dewy. It was $9.99. I have not seen this at the stores yet. I found like a clay mask from them a while back, but we haven't seen this more hydrating version yet. Love finding Murad skincare at the stores. This is the Balancing Moisturizer with SPF 15. This was for $14.99. Murad's an always like a great skincare brand that I definitely recommend. This one looks like it'd be good for oily skin since it's the Pore Rescue line. They also had the Philosophy Hope When Hope Is Not Enough. This was for $17.99. I believe this is a serum. It says a facial firming serum. I don't see Philosophy too often for skincare, so I thought that was pretty cool. All right, moving on to Marshall's finds for the week. We found the Pure Cosmetics Creator Palette. This is so, so affordable. Highly recommend it. This is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette, plus it comes with a bronzer and highlighter. It's $8.99, such a good price. They also had for skincare, this is from Carez, the Hydra Biome. This has the um, Greek yogurt in it that most of their products do. It's only $14.99, which is very affordable for the Carez brand. And this is a face mask. They also had another Murad product at Marshall's. 
which is a really popular one. This is the Essential C Day Moisture with SPF 30. I've heard so many people talking about this. It was only $14.99, and I thought that was amazing for this product. Like I said, tons of people use this. Vitamin C is always great to have in your skincare routine. I also saw some cargo eye pencils, part of the Swimmables line. They had quite a few of them at Marshalls for only $2.99, which is crazy. I believe this one is a more bluish tone i'm not sure the exact color and then they did have a couple more back there i wanted to share we also found again the makeup revolution concealer the hydrating version this was very affordable as well at $2.99 they had some lighter tones they had like two different shades but they haven't brought too many of these in i've seen them before this is the darker shade that someone clearly opened. And then I found the full size of the Glam Glow Setting Mist that we saw earlier. I was really shocked to see it there. And I heard that sm this smells really good. It has good reviews as well. So I'm excited to try it. It was $16.99. So it does make sense that the mini was like $7, $7.99. And then we found a bunch of the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Peach Blushes for $2.99. They have four shades. These do smell like peach. So this one is in Fantastical, which is more coral. Really beautiful. I did find as well. This one, I'm trying to read the name, sorry, Charming, <laughs> I believe is the shade of this one. These are so, so affordable. I have to see if they still sell these, like, at the stores. And then here is another shade. This one was in, oh man, I can't read it. It says Just Curious, I believe, which is a light peach. And then they have Bashful, which is the lightest shade. I almost bought this one, but I decided I would just pick up one this time. And then they had a bunch of the Infallible Pro Glow powders, which came, like, with the Glow Collection. A lot of people love that foundation. They had different, um, um they had a few <laughs> different shades. These are $3.99 each. They only had the shades in, like, the 20s, so I would assume these are lighter skin tone, but I'm assuming that we will be getting more in soon. So these are the ones that they had for that powder. And then we also found some infallible lip paints, the matte version. These were $2.99. I used to really love these. This one is in the shade Festival, which is gorgeous. I think I even did a whole video on this collection. They also had Tongue Tied and this beautiful neutral color in Skinny Dip. And then they had just one of these infallible Galaxy Stick highlighters. It kind of looks almost like Laura Geller Diamond Dust. It looks really pretty for a cream highlight, like a holographic shade. This is $2.99. And then I found an Origins Mask. This was for $14.99. It's called Hello Calm and it has CBD in it. So I feel like this is fairly new since CBD is kind of a newer trend in skincare. So I want to share with you a quick haul of what I picked up at the stores. First we have some Marshalls items. I did go ahead and grab this Makeup Revolution Concealer. I saw online it doesn't have the best reviews so I just I kind of want to try it for myself and see how it is because it was really really cheap at $2.99. This is the Conceal and Hydrate Radiant Concealer. Concealer. So here is a swatch. I think that one would be a really good under eye concealer. I usually like to go a little bit lighter under there and it seems good so far. I've tried like the regular one, not the hydrating, which I did really like. So I'll have to do that in like a testing TJ Maxx video, which I have not done in so long. And then I did go ahead and grab the setting spray. I've always wanted this and I knew it would be there eventually since we've been seeing the mini from Glam Glow, the glow setter makeup setting spray for $16.99. This is what it looks like. It sprays really nice. It has a really fine mist and it smells like orange creamsicle. It smells so, so good. Kind of like, I think they're Dream Duo. It smells like this. So I'm excited. Hopefully it's not, I don't think it's too glowy. It had good reviews. So I just want something good to just set my makeup. I also picked up one of the L'Oreal blushes. I was going to get two, but I was like, okay, let's calm down. We'll just get one because I believe these are discontinued now, but it was so affordable for $2.99. I got the L'Oreal, the peach blush in Fantastical. I wasn't a huge fan of the other tones that they had, but this one's kind of like a really pretty shimmery coral, which I think will be nice. It's a little bit sheer, more sheer than I expected, but it looks really pretty. And it kind of smells like peach, but not overpowering. It's super, super light. I don't know if it's like lost its scent or what. 
And then lastly, you guys are probably going to be surprised, but I actually picked up the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I used to have this. I actually bought the very first one that ever came out when it actually had the big bulky packaging. And that is many many years old so i had to declutter it like two years ago and i've been missing it in my collection so when i saw it there 19.99 i thought that was a great deal this is a really great just everyday neutral palette and i do want to mention with this one i did notice the batch code was bk9 and i believe this was actually produced last year so it's actually a fairly new one they didn't just send out old ones to tj maxx which is good and it smells incredible still so i'm happy to have this in my life again <laughs> kind of a surprising purchase for me but i just i needed to restock on it after i had to declutter my super old one that was definitely expired so that is everything i got at tj maxx in marshall's this week i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys found any amazing things if you have been able to go to your stores hopefully most of the stores will be opening very soon i think most are starting to open this month so that is it i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys